It was a long, grueling search, but in the end, the news was exactly what they feared. Nine people were rescued, but one woman went down with her husband's ship. News 8's Tina Detail has more on this tragedy. On Monday morning, divers find what many had feared, the body of Mary Patino in the cabin of her husband's boat, Priceless. Word of the tragedy spread quickly to their hometown of Pomfret. Well, we are certainly devastated and in shock. Still trying to digest uh, what, what has happened. The 50-foot ferro-cement boat went down just off the coast of Fishers Island, New York, Sunday afternoon. Ten people were on board. It is here at the Noank shipyard where the nine people and one dog were brought in after being saved by nearby boaters who really responded to this emergency. We're told that they plucked the folks from the water, brought them in here, and they really saved the day. Unfortunately, survivors say Mary had gone back into the cabin to get something. New York State Police will try to find out why the boat sank. But it's in one piece. It's sitting on the bottom, keeled down. A um, little bit of collapse of a uh, canopy that's on top, um, which was a, a metal, uh, metal in canvas. Mary Patineau and her husband David, a former first selectman, are well known in Pomfret. She ran the family package store and both were involved in many boards and charities. She's a real integral part of this community. It is a very big loss for our community and, and her family. A loss they will try to deal with together. You don't even begin to know how to address it with, with her husband and with her children. You know, all, all you can do. My wife is baking some uh, food for them. Gestures of support from friends and neighbors. In Pomfret, Tina Detell, News 8.